Unraveling the mysteries of the universe as we gaze out at the cosmos, its dazzling dance of planets, stars, and galaxies, a profound question resonates. Why is there something instead of nothing? This conundrum becomes even more compelling when we consider the symmetry of the laws that govern our universe. These laws seem to treat matter and antimatter as equals, yet our universe is dominated by matter. The faint presence of antimatter invites us to probe the complex forces that have created this asymmetry, resulting in the universe we observe today, a universe filled with galaxies, stars, and the profound mystery of our own existence. Historically, scientists believed that the universe was eternal, static, and unchanging, governed by immutable physical laws. In 1927, Belgian priest and scientist Georges Lemaitre challenged this theory by proposing a revolutionary idea. He proposed that the universe was born from a single primordial atom that exploded, creating the matter we know today. Although initially rejected, Lemaitre's theory gained traction when Edwin Hubble observed in 1929 that the universe was expanding. This discovery led scientists to speculate that, if we could trace back the history of the universe, it would collapse back into a small, dense point, a concept that astronomer Fred Hoyle disparagingly called the Big Bang Theory. Despite skepticism, the theory was accepted, the breakthrough came in the 1960s, when scientists Ralph Alpher, George Gamow, and Robert Herman predicted that a faint afterglow from the Big Bang would permeate the universe. This prediction was confirmed when Arno Pensius and Robert Wilson discovered the cosmic microwave background radiation, the leftover echo of the Big Bang, by connecting it to microwave signals from the Milky Way. This discovery was crucial, Confirming the Big Bang theory in revealing the dynamic and evolutionary nature of the universe to us oh how did a universe born from a violent explosion evolve to form stars, planets, and galaxies. About 13.8 billion years ago, all matter emerged from a point of infinite density. This expansion occurred at an incredible rate, doubling in size every 10 to the power of negative 34 seconds, creating space as it inflated. In the first second, fundamental forces and particles emerged, with matter and antimatter largely annihilating each other. Fortunately, a small amount of matter remained, forming protons and neutrons. These particles quickly began to fuse together to form hydrogen and helium nuclei. About 300,000 years later, atoms formed as electrons were captured, filling the universe with hydrogen and helium gas, about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe emitted a residual glow, the cosmic microwave background radiation. This radiation caused small fluctuations, extending to cosmic scales, that allowed galaxies and galaxy clusters to form. Today, our observations of the universe reveal a coherent story, a universe governed by unchanging physical laws, expanding, cooling, and influenced by dark energy and dark matter, as well as normal matter, neutrinos, and radiation. The universe is a wonderful tapestry of galaxies, stars, planets, and even intelligent life, this universe appears to have never been fully formed, but rather to have evolved through cosmic processes. From a homogeneous state composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, the universe evolved into a complex structure over billions of years. The formation of galaxies, stars, and planets required a delicate balance between gravity, dark matter, and various forms of matter and radiation. This balance is essential for the creation of cosmic relics such as the cosmic microwave background and the building blocks of galaxies. Point one of the most intriguing puzzles is the matter-antimatter asymmetry. In the early universe, matter and antimatter should have been created in equal amounts. However, the universe is mostly made of matter. Several hypotheses attempt to explain this discrepancy, such as temporary deviations in the laws of physics that favor the creation of matter. An important idea involves collision interactions in the standard model of particle physics, the origin of the universe and the concept of nothingness raise profound questions. If the universe came from nothing, what does nothingness mean? From a scientific perspective, it can refer to an era before existence, an empty spacetime with minimal energy, or the absence of the universe and its laws. Philosophically and scientifically, defining true nothingness, the absence of space, time, and physical laws, is a challenge. The concept of cosmic inflation, 
the rapid expansion before the hot Big Bang, provides a framework for understanding the universe and its birth. Inflation suggests that high energy densities in space could lead to the formation of matter and antimatter. While inflation is consistent with observations, it raises philosophical questions about our ability to understand a state without the laws of space, time, and physics. Recent advances in quantum theory have provided fascinating insights into the origins of the universe. Donnie and his team at the Wuhan Institute of Physics and Mathematics have provided mathematical evidence that the Big Bang could have arisen from quantum fluctuations. Their work combines the Wheeler equation and the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, showing that a small vacuum bubble could have rapidly expanded, potentially leading to the Big Bang. The theory also suggests a link between dark energy and the quantum potential. The Ian theory of the universe offers an alternative to the traditional Big Bang model. It proposes that our universe was born from the collision of brains from higher dimensions into a larger, invisible reality. This collision would have triggered the expansion and evolution of our observable universe. According to this theory, the birth of our universe could have been part of a continuous cycle of collision and expansion, suggesting that the cosmic landscape is always changing, there is much speculation about the nature of our universe in this context. Is this a grand cosmic experiment conducted by an advanced civilization in a higher dimension? Or perhaps our reality is a projection of a higher dimensional realm? Some even suggest that the universe may be a self-aware entity, discovering itself through its galaxies and stars. As we explore these profound concepts, it is essential to recognize our current limitations. The Big Bang remains a central event in the history of the universe, but it may not represent the absolute beginning of all existence. Looking back to the earliest stages of cosmic evolution reveals a universe with ample opportunity for life to emerge, animated by stable principles and materials. Regardless of the role of chance, the emergence of life highlights the potential inherent in the structure of the universe. It is our responsibility to embrace this opportunity and strive to unlock the mysteries of the universe, continually exploring our place in it. Thank you for watching. To learn more about these fascinating topics, be sure to check out my video on cosmic inflation. Until next time, stay curious and continue to explore the wonders of the universe.